welcome back in this video we will learn about the constraint set the constraint in this consumers problem is simple we have already learned what you mean by budget set so budget set is simply uh, the set of all alternatives that cost less than or equal to m we are going to call the boundary of the budget set budget line okay. so these are set of all bundles such that the expenditure on both the goods equals the income of the consumer this is how you're going to plot the budget line. So it's a simply a plotting this line PXX plus PYY equal to M, taking as given PX, PY and M. So if, if the consumer is going to spend all his money on X, then he can afford M by PX units of X. If he's going to spend all his money on Y, then he can afford M by PY units of Y. And since it's a line, we can just connect the two points and we will get the entire budget line. I'm going to use the word slope interchangeably with absolute value of the slope in later videos. So whenever I'm saying slope of the budget line, I'll be referring to the absolute value of the slope of the budget line. Okay. So here the absolute value of the slope of the budget line is PX by PY. Okay. Now let's see what's going to happen if a price of X is going to change, how the budget line is going to change. Uh, what's going to happen if, if income is going to change okay so let's let's see that okay so suppose price of x decreases from px to px prime okay then the budget line will shift from being the dash line to this purple line okay so the new budget line will now be flatter okay because the price of x has fallen so you can now afford more of x given the same level of income so the budget line will now be a flatter line okay so this is again the terminology that I'll be using uh, flatter okay so whenever I say that the budget line has become flatter that means that the slope of the budget line has fallen okay now what's going to happen if income increases okay so suppose uh, we are going to change the income of the individual from M to M prime then the budget line is going to shift outwards like this Again, this is very very simple okay. and uh, you can notice that there is no change in the slope of the budget line okay. in the next video we'll see how to represent the preference of the consumer in the graph okay. so stay tuned